Today we're doing Volcano Grill. It is a Vegas exclusive. And uh, yes, Keith Lee has tried this place. I think he got a burrito from there. But I haven't been producing content, you guys. Why? It has been hectic. Do not move cross country, you guys. <laughs> Do not. Very bubbly. Let's get some of this lobster tail. If you're a guy around my age, 27 up, on up, <laughs> hit me up. What it is, what it is, you don't see Crucial Boys, Eddie Chunk Chunk. And we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What I'm thinking it is, it's a muck bang! ZCC family. It's been a minute since I've been at the table. Are you guys happy I'm back at the table or are you sad? Let me know in that comment section down below. Not gonna lie, this is just my comfort zone. I love this. I do love the vlogs and I'm not gonna stop. Um, I actually still gonna keep doing them even by myself. But when, I'm gonna, when I know I'll go full fledged with vlogs, is when I have um, a videographer. It's just, I, I do well with a videographer, you guys. It's just, it's just what it is. But um, as you guys can see, today we're doing Volcano Grill. It is a Vegas exclusive. And uh, yes, Keith Lee has tried this place. I think he got a burrito from there. I end up getting their lobster plate, which comes with a lobster, three proteins, or no, two proteins. And then uh, three sides, I ended up getting brown rice and uh, grilled veggies. Then I got some spring rolls on the side, some of their sauces in hibachi cabbage. Only cabbage I ever had was black cabbage. So we're gonna have to give that a try, man. But boy, does this feel great. Let's get a prayer to the thumbnail and we could talk about how things been going. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food and you just say we pray, amen. Let's get a thumbnail. I'm back. Yeah, all right, we got some. And then uh, let's get one more with this one. Hibachi? Let's get a focus on that. Come on. Yeah. All right. And let's dive straight in. No games. I am hungry. I'm not about to play with the chopsticks, just for decorations. ZCC family. Did I get a prayer? I think I did. Let's try this cabbage first, shall we? And yes, you guys, we're gonna talk about a lot today. Yep. Black cabbage is better. Mmm. <laughs> This is the cabbage. I mean, it's not bad, but it's saving grace is the uh, the seasoning of the sauce they put on it. Have to be more hundred. It's just not it. Let's try this rice. Mmm. The rice is cooked good. Okay. Let's try these vegetables. So they gave me vegetables. At first I thought they almost had a zonk because I didn't see my vegetables. It's just they put my vegetables under the rice. I mean under the lobster tail. We got a lot of sauces over here. I'll put this right there. First meal of the day, you guys. And I ain't gonna lie. My stomach feeling a little funny because I haven't eaten all day and I went to the gym today. And um, right now it's about 5 p.m. Mind you, that is 7 p.m. in Houston. 8 p.m. in Florida, New York, and all of them. 
either buy in a case of zero calorie soda. Let's get one of these spring rolls in. I like that sauce. I like that sauce. All those sauces are good. All of them. The only thing getting the zonk is uh is the um the cabbage. So far. I still got a lot more to eat in this. <laughs> but um I wanna talk to y'all man. Do you, do you guys miss the table at all? Be honest with me. Do you guys miss it or you don't miss it or you know were you guys just filling the vlog? I've been getting a lot of uh positive commentary for the vlogs, which is great. And but I've been seeing a lot of you guys saying, hey, it's okay if you mix it up. Which I love that. I love that y'all are rocking with it all. Let me mix this all up. So they do have an option to do a burrito version of this. I didn't do it. Sorry, just making a lot of noise. Um, I wish the tails didn't come with it, just so I can dive in. I feel like I have to pull this shrimp out separately to make sure I take the tails off. I know some people eat the tails. Um, Spice King. He the tails on his shrimp. Savage. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been getting positive reviews on both. And a lot of people saying, hey, Dalvin, you can do both. And we'll rock with it. So I really appreciate y'all. I really appreciate y'all, like, wanting me to be comfortable, be happy, and okay with me just uh, doing some table. If you guys uh doing some table. So I noticed... As you guys noticed, I haven't been able to come out with a lot of content. I feel like I'm mumbling and jumbling and jumping all over the place. <laughs> but I haven't been producing content, you guys. Why? It has been hectic. First of all, you know, just being in a new city, I'm trying to get established, comfortable, and things of that sort. Second thing is I had two. Let me look this up on. So you guys can see more. I had two trips. Um two sets of things. I had one thing, well, I had a trailer on my Jeep and burned that all here. And then I had um, another thing, gets, my other half of my stuff gets shipped with a semi. I was trying to get as much as I possibly could to Las Vegas with that drive. And I still have another car to ship. Do not move cross country, you guys. <laughs> Do not. But um, maybe if you're rich, do it. Because if you're rich, it's sweet. <laughs> Just have everything shipped, go on first class, and then uh, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm posted in Vegas for a minute. Or at least the West Coast. Mm. They got some really good sauces. So I haven't been made haven't been able to make a lot of content for a while because I came here and they didn't come here with a hundred percent of my stuff. And then second of all, 
uh, I'm tr I was trying to do something new for you guys, bring different kind of content, which is content I'm not used to filming. And the editing takes longer, even though it may not seem my edits are turned up at all, which they aren't, to me they aren't. <laughs> my edits are very basic, but that kind of editing legit takes still three minimum hours. I think I'm being generous with three, probably four. Um, it was very time consuming. And it just gives an, I give an appreciation to all those videographers out there, man. <laughs> Shout out to my homie Rashad, who's putting in work for my vlogs because I was asking for a lot too. <laughs> Let me say, I need this done, I need this done, this one, this one, this one. But, well, first of all, I was paying him, so. And then second of all, it's what he does. This is what he loves to do, so I'm sure he enjoyed it. Well, not 100%, because sometimes <laughs> it probably could get tedious, but then it's appreciation for the editors, for those uh, videographers and editors. All right, even YouTube channels who are... Uh, edit their own content. So, <laughs> lots of work. So, back on track, yeah, I was trying to uh, just do something new for you guys and make different kind of content. And it slowed down my filming process because it just took me longer to edit and then even filming the video was a longer process. And it just wasn't 100% my comfort zone. And that's the reason why less videos came out, but not so much more of the just videos or editing side. I really believe it's just getting settled in is the main reason why it took me a minute to uh, bring out a lot of content. And if you guys are willing to accept this kind of uh, the table mukbangs, I could come with so much more content. You know what I am? <laughs> Let's try some of that. This is that. I'm a big hibachi fan. It's funny how every time I keep picking up shrimp. I'm a big hibachi fan, you guys. I don't know if you guys knew, but honestly, and you guys may say this is basic, but one of my favorite hibachi places is PF. Uh, not PF Tennis. What's the place with the bean? Benny Hines. Mm. Benny Hines is so good to me. I don't know if it's overrated, underrated, but for me, it's great. I love it. But I feel like Benny Hanna used to have a big name back when I was younger because I can remember rappers and actors and actresses used to talk about Benny Hanna's. But now I feel like it's more of a, like that's the basic of hibachi. Based off what people around me act like. Me, I think Benny Hanna's is top tier. I love Benny Hanna's. <laughs> That's some good soda, man. Only thing is, they it, it is very bubbly. Let's get some of this lobster tail. Mm -hmm. So, this meal overall was like 48 bucks. I think the lobster tail plate starts off at 33. Then I upgraded my proteins to steak and shrimp.
Mm. Now, you know, it would be good if I just add this cabbage to that. That would just go together. Because the cabbage, my, it's just, this hibachi cabbage is really just seasoned lettuce. <laughs> so, it's, and it's not, like I said, it's not nasty. It, the seasoning, the flavor is amazing. It's just by itself, nah. Now I know this probably is gonna, gonna go crazy. Mm hmm Just as I suspected. Delicioso. But um, my table and stuff was uh, in my setup for in my second shipment. So I finally got it back. I still didn't build it right away. I built uh, I built everything up like yesterday, and I was gonna film yesterday, but I just ended up waiting till today because I wanted to get a fresh cut. about two of those um it's just because i be i i love soda but i just don't drink it to be drinking it. i'll buy it for the house but i do when i do go out to eat i will get a soda but i bought that for the house like i said it is zero calories and zero sugar so yeah that was a winner um a new haircut guy let me know what you guys are thinking of him um first time he did extraordinary he did really good job the first time the amount of work he put in, I was really happy with. I feel like this time he slacked. Um, because the first time I was really on him, I was uh not just in general like I want to say I was making a scene, but like I came into the barbershop. I don't know if I told talked to you guys. But I haven't. I don't think I have. I think I was talking to Christian Jamel, but came in a barber shop, no point or anything. I was just uh, seeing everybody out, hoping that they, they can do a walk in. And, you know, doing a walk in is dangerous. Usually, if you're doing a walk in, you're gonna get the guy who's always available. And the guy who's always available is not the coldest. First guy came up to me. I'm like, okay, you know, you go to your tit chair. I'm like, uh, I was asking him all sorts of questions, pretty much interviewing the guy. Do you do this? Do you do that? Do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have this product? That product? Answer my questions. He didn't have what I needed. And then he already had the the white thing that goes around your neck and the and the uh, the robe, whatever, the the whatever it's called, the apron over me and the white thing that goes over my neck. And then, you know, because I was interviewing him, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not feeling this one. I took it off. I'm like, I'm, a, I'm just wet. So... And this is my hair. Like, I'm not gonna just take a chance. And I and I felt bad for doing that, but I'm like, nah, I ain't taking no chances. So, um, this first guy, second guy comes up. He's like, you need air coming? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, come on. Came over there, started asking him questions. I'm like, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? Yep, yep, got you this, that, that. And then I was like, let me see. And so he answered, he passed my test at my interview questions. And then I was like, uh, all right, next step, let me see pictures. And then he pulls up, brings out his phone, starts showing me pictures. And he passed my picture test. So I was like, all right, bet. Cut me up. Mind you, this guy is uh, 
is Cuban. And um, I'm just not used to getting cut up by other uh, cultures or races. Now, my guy back home was Angel. He was cold, though. He was Hispanic. He was one of the first, uh, not one of the first, the first Hispanic to cut me up. Um, all my life, I always had black people, and this is not right saying but I always had black people cut me up, you know? I just felt black people with no black hair. And um, I remember in Appleton, there was a brief moment I had uh, a white boy who was cutting me up. And uh, I think I only went to him for a maximum like three, four cuts, not that many. Um, Appleton was really just slacking in barbers. <laughs> um, then uh, came to Houston, I had a whole bunch, uh, a few different black barbers. And then I met Angel, and he was my first Hispanic barber. So and he was doing me right. I, I loved Angel. The guy got me right. Now I'm here in Vegas trying to find a new barber. So far, I got cut up by three people so far. First guy, I liked him. Cool, super cool personality too. Super cool personality. He was just all the way out in the boondocks, and I wasn't trying to drive that far out there. And then plus, he there was a little, little hecticness that he did with my hair, but nothing that I can't, you know. I want. I was gonna say. I don't want to say the word train, but nothing I can't like teach him how to cut my hair, you know. But. I really like this personality though. Real cool dude. Like, he seems like a guy I can kick it with. Just on some kick it stuff. But he, he lives too far for all that. <laughs> um, second guy got cut up. He was, uh, he was cool. Very shy guy. Really, um, and he even told me this, like, what's the word? Um, introvert or something of like that sort. Doesn't like to talk much. He uh, stays in a bubble. Um, doesn't really have friends. Like, him being a barber helps him, uh, like, be more social and stuff. Like, he's very, very, very introverted. Cool guy. I really don't. I really don't care. You be an expert. I don't. I really am not the type to want to chop it up all day with barbers. You know, unless I really know you. I'm okay with sitting down and just being in complete silence and getting cut up. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I feel like some barbers try to start conversations with you because they feel like, dang, like he probably wants to talk. You know, no, no you don't got to talk to me at all. <laughs> but um, This cut was mid. He was new in the cut game now. So, this cut was not, it was all right, it was mid. And then, um, found the guy that I just went to today. And, um, Cuban guy, second Hispanic, ever went to. And first time he got me right. This is the second one. And I know you guys, well, it probably looks decent. Well, some of you probably say, no, it doesn't look decent. And this one definitely does look decent. Like, it's still not where it's not like, oh, I I don't like this cut. I definitely like this cut. But the first one, he really, like, put his effort into it. And I think he did because I gave him a whole interview process. And then it was like everybody was looking at him like other barbers are looking, like, watching me do that. And so he was like, okay, I got to show up and show out. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Now, so far, this is the guy right here. No. Um, like his cut the most. He gets me right. And um, this is language barrier, though. So it's really hard. Not really hard. It's hard to chop it up. I would say really hard though. He's, he does understand pretty well, and I 100% understand him. I'm not saying hunt a lot. And uh, that's one of my pet pieces, hunt, hunt. Even like myself, like I do it a lot, and I can't stand when I do it. Or when people say hunt, huh, and they heard you, and they repeat what you say, they like, huh? Then, and then they answer your question. I do that so much, and I can't stand myself for doing that. But um, yeah, he uh, speaks good. Uh, 
He's very understandable and he understands me all the time too. But I could tell his words are limited where I wouldn't like say a super long sentence or talk to him about something crazy. I don't know. Cause I just feel like then it would just, that's when the beer, that's when the complications would start to come in. Let's get another bite of this lobster. So, I just rambled on about the barbers, but you guys know I take my hair very seriously. <laughs> well, my hair cuts. I still have to find a lock lady out here. If you guys have any recommendations, I need someone who's cold, someone who doesn't just retwist and you know I and you know wash and retwist. I need someone who can do a hundred different designs. I need someone who knows how to care for locks. I need someone who knows how to dye locks. Not saying I want my hair dyed or anything. I just like a lady who knows how to do it all. People who know how to do them deep washes with the, like, the vinegar and the solutions and all that stuff. And people who know how to, you know, intertwine locks. People who know how to, uh, you know, grab your old hair and reconnect it. And it's, all that stuff. I need someone who can do it all. Like knows how to care for. Like knows like oh you you need to start doing this to get it. Cause one thing I have some thin locks. So any lady who can um, help me um, get them thicker or you know that would be lovely. So yeah. And if you guys have any recommendations for that in Las Vegas, let me know. This is some straight steak and shrimp in this one. This is good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of full. But um, yeah, you're like lady. I need to find me a handyman that I trust. So I'm. I can have all up around my house. There's a lot of things I want to do to this place. A lot of things I need to get built. So, yeah, it's restarting my life, man. Out here in Las Vegas. I gotta find new friends. I'm happy to have, like, I've been having a good time so far. Happy to know Christian and Jamil. They're really good people. People I actually genuinely love to, genuinely love to hang out with. Um, Always a good time, always a good vibes with them. And it's not like work hangout, you know, because I met them through YouTube. Not one time is it about work, which I love that, you know? Like we will talk about work and like talk about analytics and talk about like some of the stuff that goes on in the community. But when we hang out, we could, if none of us did YouTube, if if I was a plumber and, and they were, what I, and YouTubers, we'll still get along great, you know? So I'm happy for that. Definitely need a guy friend group out here. If there's any guys, the thing is, it's hard to find friends. I'm telling you. And then you guys might say, no, it's not now. It's not trying. No, listen, if you're an adult and you don't work uh, a job where you're going into a place or don't um, go to school, or do some kind of activity where you're meeting people all every day, it's hard to make friends, especially as a guy. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I know this is going out on a limb, but if you're a guy around my age, 27 up, on up, <laughs> hit me up. I need some kick it turn up buddies out here and out here. I said, well, I said Houston, out here in Vegas. No, I want to do so bad is go to a club in Vegas. I've never, out of all the times I've been to Las Vegas, Nevada, I have never ever been to a club. But I will never go to a club without some homies. And I need some experienced homies with these Las Vegas. I'm low key kind of nervous to go to a Vegas club because I feel like this is a whole nother kind of club scene. Like, these are mega clubs. 
these are clubs you see in like movies where these LA superstars are partying. You know what I mean? These are giant clubs. These are not Houston clubs. Now Houston turns up. Houston is 100% a turn up city, but I've never in my life been to one of these mega clubs yet where it's like acrobats on the top of the walls and and all type of the people is like over a couple of, I don't know, I can't, I'm not really good with numbers or I feel like it's over a thousand people or I don't know if a thousand is normal or a couple thousand, but this place, these places be packed. These are mega clubs, you know? And um, even, even normal bet, cause there's like baddies and then there's like top tier. Even normal baddies still gotta wait in line because top, uh, cause this club has so many different levels of people that because usually baddies get to to get to go in even baddies are waiting in line because it's top tiers that only get to go in when it comes to guys it's only the guys who are spinning the sack <sighs> but um definitely want to do a make a club these some homies so if you guys live in if you live in las vegas man hit me up i'm definitely open uh to friendship <laughs> uh definitely open to guys who like to kick it turn up things of that sort but ZCC family, I hope you guys enjoyed this meal. I definitely did. This was really good. Um, and ladies, I'm also open to lit. Thing is, reason why I'm saying homies because I want to go to the clubs and stuff of that sort and like do things, go hoop and and stuff. Like I want to do some MMA classes. This is the home. This is the fighting capital of the world. Like someone to do that with would be dope. Um, I feel like, because I know you guys say, what about Jamil? I just feel like Jamil's not a clubber. I feel like he'll be down for, like, he'll probably be down to go, I don't know, maybe try MMA classes, maybe down a hoop, but I know he's not like a turn up guy. And I need, that's what I just need. I need a turn up, a turn up guy, a turn up a group of guys, to be honest, because I don't like to turn up and have fun. And uh, it's my last year in my 20s, so we got to do a bit. <laughs> Plus, I'm living in Las Vegas, Nevada. You gotta turn up. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this meal. One through ten, volcano grill. Hmm, I'm giving this. I really don't like doing one through tens. I'm giving this a, a eight, seven. I'm a seven point three, seven point five. It is good. It is good. Cabbage gave it a zonk. Um, I wish they put like. I made the, wish they made the rice like shrimp fried rice or something. Benny Hanna's is better. I'm telling you right now, Benny Hanna's definitely got the win, but this is good. I know a lot of people usually get the burrito version of this. Burrito pr version probably would have been, been uh, could have been better, but I didn't want the extra bread. But overall, this is good. 100% will go back to this place again. Let's get one more bite for the culture, and then we're signing out, you guys. Mm. Another thing I noticed too, they didn't ask me how I want my steak cooked. That probably could have brought them up to another level. And then um, the pricing for it. I don't know, you guys may think it's worth I don't know if it is worth it on my end. All the good protein they had, it raised. So, first of all, the triple meat costs a certain price, and then they give, the, they give you the protein that comes with it, or you can get at these premium proteins for an extra price, which I did. <laughs> and then, um, very simple and easy though, order menu. Small place, definitely good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok, all is at a chuck chuck. That is Z A D D Y C H U N K C H U N K. Um, I didn't talk about it a lot on purpose in this video because I do got a lot to talk to you guys about. Some questions that I know for a fact you guys have. So we're gonna talk about those very soon. Are you guys rocking with the table videos? I this I love this. I'm back. Today was a little difficult though, because my first time getting back and trying to get this all set up and, and everything of that sort, but I'm home. I like it. Let me know how the echo is in here. Furniture is real low still in this house. And I didn't shut the door. So let me know how to echo, because I know the echo was bad when I first moved in. Like, literally, like, echo, echo, echo. So, I love you guys. 
I don't even know how my outro goes. <laughs> I haven't done this up. Oh, uh, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC game is on top. Let's get it! Bye.